I'm going back to the desktop, uh, clicking on Autodesk Inventor. We're going to try this one more time. All right, so when this pulls up, I get uh, new. I'm going to click new under Autodesk Inventor. New standard.ipt. We're going to do that every time for the first couple of weeks. We'll change that up later. Okay, so now we're going to go over to start 2D sketch in the top left. All right, now you've got three different uh, planes. You've got a YZ plane, you've got an XZ plane, and you've got an XY plane. I want you to always click on the XY plane. So click on that XY plane that was the orange one there. All right, so now we're going to start drawing our shape, and it's made out of rectangles and squares, right? So we're going to say start 2D sketch. Oh, I've already done that. Oops. All right, fail already. So I'm going to click the back button. That's the best button ever made. So uh, undo. So I click rectangle. Everybody click rectangle. And you'll start at the origin. Now, uh, hey, guys in the back, listen carefully, guys. If you'll see this right here, I don't know if you can see it, but it turns green when I go over the, uh, the uh, origin there on my crosshairs. So I click the green dot. Now, if you'll notice, I got two different sets of numbers. All right. Each one of these blocks average was 0.75 inches. So I'm going to push 0.75, and then I push the tab button on my keyboard, and I do 0.75 again, and I hit enter. And I should have a square there. So if you did rectangle, click on your origin, pull it out. I'll undo that so you can see what I did. All right, click XY plane, click rectangle, click on the origin, 0.75, tab, 0.75, enter, just like that. Now, bail. Okay, now this uh, over here, this little view cube, that's what that's called. You're going to click the house button. It looks like it's at the view cube. So click the house, and it puts it into the home view. Okay, so let me pause right there. All right, guys, is anybody following me right now? Is anybody following me? Okay. All right, so now I want to make a rectangle or a, a cube. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to 3D model, this tab in the ribbon. Uh, click 3D model. I'm going to click the word extrude. This is the first time you've ever heard this word. Extrude, it says it creates a feature or a body by adding depth to a profile. So you basically extend that shape out. And so I want to figure out how much to extend that out. Well, that says one inch down here. I don't want one inch. I want this to be a cube. So it needs to be 0.75 on all dimensions. So I hit 0.75 and hit enter. And so now I have a cube that looks like us, uh, it's equal on all sides. And so you can click, hold the left button down on the view cube and move it around. That's called pivot, okay? So I clicked on the view cube right here, anywhere, and I hold down on my mouse button and jig, uh, mess with that. So now it's a pivot. You can click back home and get back to the home view. Now, <clears throat> here's the problem. All right, let me pause my recording. Oh, my camera fell. Hang on. All right, so my camera fell. All right, so I'm straight. Good. Awesome. All right, so now let's go over to the view cube and let's figure out how to make it not just a cube. I want to take that cube and make a big shape like, uh, what was it, a six-piece puzzle piece or whatever. It was six pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to start a 2D sketch again, but I'm going to do it. It's basically what you're doing is you're, you're gluing other blocks to this block. So I'm going to start on this side right here, and I'm going to uh, click home. All right, so I'm going to draw a rectangle on this side of the box. Now, you can click from green to green, just like I have here, green dot to green dot. Or you, if you look at the numbers, it says 0.75 and 0.75 for the dimensions there. And so you could just go ahead, if you're worried about it, push 0.75, tab, 0.75, and hit enter. Uh-oh. See that? I made a mistake. So push tab, 0.75, and enter. All right. So now we know that's the right size. Click finish sketch. All right. Let me pause. Go. Now we're going to extrude that purple rectangle out. You saw what just happened? 
So I'm going to click the undo button. I'm going to click 3D model. It has to be 3D model highlighted there. Extrude. And now it's already wanting to extrude that little square out. So here's what I'm going to tell it. Now, you can't see it because my face is in the way. But it should say 0.75. And if it doesn't, I'm going to type 0.75 and enter. Now I'm going to hit home. Now, uh, so I've got two blocks glued together now. That's two. I need six. So how am I going to do this? Um, now that shape that I was wanting, let me see if I can, I don't know if I can go back. Uh, this is the shape I want. So I've, what I've done is I've drawn this part down here. Now I need to put one above, one to the left, and some back here. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so if I want to put one above, um, I'm going to start a 2D sketch on the top view of, it looks like a stick of butter. So I'm going to click that top view and then draw a rectangle from the, uh, the bottom left corner. See how it turns like a green dot there? I click and then I drag over. I'm going to say 0.75 and you guessed it. Tab 0.75, hit enter, bam. Now, finish sketch. You should have a purple square on the top of your stick of butter. All right, now we're going to we're going to extrude that 3D model extrude. This see it's already wanting to do it. So it moves it blows that up to 0.75 and I hit enter. And now I've got what should look like the beginning of this part right here. So I've got that there. Now I need to put another cube in the back part and then this part here as well. I think it's one, two cubes. Okay, so I'm going to turn my shape around, and the way I do that is I click the, the corners. You see, the, I've got a corner. I've got a corner. I'm going to click that corner. You could also keep clicking the corner. You can just keep turning it around like this. Corner, corner, corner. I want a shape on this back part here, so I'm going to turn it around to here. And I'm going to start a 2D sketch, so it has to be 3D model. To start 2D sketch, and you click here on that L shape. And you were going to draw another rectangle from green dot to green dot, but I want to make sure it's right, so I push 0 0.75, tab 0 0.75, and that should be right. All right, now I'm going to click finish sketch. That's a green check mark over here. Now you should have a purple square on that side of the shape, and I'm going to pause it just to extrude. All right, so we're going to extrude that uh, new purple rectangle there. Uh, 0 0.75, it's a cube, so it's all dimensions are all the same. Now click home, that little house button there, and that sends me back to my home. Now you see that I've got, I should look like this right here, but I've still got to have an attached part back here on the back end, so that means I'm going to have to turn it around and click the corner. So which corner do I click? I don't click that one. I'm going to click the one to the left over here. See that? So I click here, and I want to attach a part to this back end here. So I'm going to go start 2D sketch. I'm going to basically you're gluing a part here, but you're doing a digital version. So you're going to go from green dot. Now this turns into green. And then I'm going to uh, bring it up like a rectangle and say 0.75, tab 0.75. All right. Now I'm going to click finish sketch, and I should look like this. So I click home. And I had my part I just drew. Now I click the corner. And I should have a purple <laughs> rectangle at the bottom down here. And so let's look at the shape one more time. It looks to me like it sticks out about two blocks. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Uh, so first off, I'm going to have to make it stick out 0.75 this way. And then if I click home, I should see that my part is kind of looking right now. I just need to extend it. Um, I've got this little part sticking out in the back. Now I need to bring it out this way. Okay, so I need to attach another little cube right here on this part here. So I'm going to click 2D sketch. I click on this face and I start at the t bottom left corner and go uh, drag up your rectangle and do 0 0.75, tab 0 0.75 and hit enter. And I should have a purple rectangle on the back like that. And I'm going to bring it out one more one more rectangle this way, so I hit 3D model, extrude, and it's already wanting to do it, 0.75. It remembers my settings. And so now we should have what should look like the part that I needed. Okay, so let's go back and inspect this. So it looks very close to what I wanted. 
Now, I want to turn it a different color. All right, so if you'll go up to the top and click, yours might have a little different setup up here. This is the uh, quick access toolbar. So I'm going to click this little double arrow. What I'm looking for is this little color wheel right there. So it says default right here. I click default, and I'm going to type in the color I want. If you want it yellow, um, I just type in Y-E. Uh, let's go back. I click default, Y-E-L-L-O-W, and if you see it's already highlighted yellow down here. I, it could be yellow, or you can make it... Um, you can make it purple, P-U-R-P-L-E. Actually, I can't. you can't make it purple. Let's make it pink. All right, so now I have a pink shape. So I'm going to stop right there, and here we go.